Oh Lord, settle me on time. Oh Lord, settle me on time. Oh Lord, settle me on time. I believe you fasted on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, and here I am to close your fast, just as I promised. Because I know that in the evening today we have our fourth year anniversary celebration, so that the occasions will not be jam packed together where we are celebrating and thanking God for four years in the evening, then we forget to pray for you. Your assignment is very important to me. That is why I have to come online now to close your exercise. Oh Lord, set to me on time. As long as you prayed with the book of First Peter 5 verse 10, we said fast with First Peter chapter 5 verse 10, starting from Monday, Tuesday and today, Wednesday. And ESV says, and after you have suffered a little while, after they've laughed at you, after they've mocked at you, after they've asked you, where is your God? After you've sought east, west and north, to get something done and it looks as if it's not coming. After you prayed for that green card, after you prayed for that visa, after you prayed for that document, after you asked God to remember you, after you've asked God to set to you and it looked as if it's not coming, God says I should tell you, after you have suffered a while, the God of all grace, the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore, confirm strengthen and settle you and establish you. He said in his glory himself he will restore everything you have lost. I come as a prophet over your life, over your destiny, over your children, over your where you are. This Wednesday, 2nd of October 2024, I decree my God is going to push away every blockade, every hindrance, everything that have delayed you. Receive settlement. 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 Rakakakatusia. Who is that man? Is that woman holding one thing that belongs to you? Holding one thing that belongs to you? Holding that contract letter? Holding that promotion letter? Holding that answer? Holding that celebration? Holding that reign of abundance? Holding that thing that is supposed to happen to you? I decree and declare God is pushing them away. God is settling you. God is pushing them away. God is settling you as loud as your amen. My God is settling you. Husband is coming. Baby is coming. Landed property is coming. Visa is coming. Documentation is coming. I see it coming. God says I should tell you. Seven days from now, that promotion and negotiation will start. One month from now, that document is coming to your hand. Four weeks from now, that proposal is coming. That wedding card is being printed. I decree by this time next month, next year, you are taking it. In fact, next month by this time, you have missed your period already. I command and I decree. Answers are coming. Open doors are coming. La nana barada do zeketia. As we close this fast to them, I command the rain of abundance. I command an open door. I command answer. I command 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 open door. I command answer. I stand as a prophet over your life today. I push you forward. I give you a prophetic, a prophetic helping hand. I give you a prophetic helping hand. That one man, that one woman that is laughing at you, I command them to make way in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hear me. I don't know if you have an anointing or you close to you. I'm going to anoint myself in case you don't have it on your behalf. And as I speak, it happens. Oh Lord, my Father, I dedicate this anointing oil. I command that this oil is therefore fit for prophetic use. Everything I speak with this anointing oil happens in the life of those who are watching. Happens in the life of that one who is watching. Happens in the life of that one who is watching. I hear him clearly. I heard him clearly. He says, take a shot. Take a shot. Lamara sukre pekuskatia. I decree in the name of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit as I drink this dose of anointing, just this little shot, 
every ailment in your life as your prophet it is flushing out as i do this as your prophet it is flushing out that one man owing you manaka shatu zakata i see that money released and that one woman that has said they will laugh at you to take what belongs to you drag in one position with you i see somebody that have stood in your land your landed property lakara kushakatia as i partake of this anointing oil i command the release 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 i command in the name of god the father and of the son and of the holy spirit hear me i decree in the name of jesus every element in you everything you do not plan for that is in you my god is taking it away 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 in the name of jesus we pray amen i want to minister over the life of some persons directly on whatsapp directly on whatsapp here is what you are going to do if you have not closed your your exercise seed that is the account uh, displayed right now close your uh, uh, fasting with the seed lay it on the altar lay it on this prophetic move and see what god will do for you today hey, 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 i am so happy that prestige gospel center is four years old I want someone to make a connection of prophetic seed of a bottle of wine you know now you know what a bottle of wine should be for you as god leads in your heart connect with wine to the life of the prophet the servant of god that god has placed on the altar of solution and prophecy and say man of god i send this wine to the church as they gather today i send this sacrifice as a bottle of wine for the as for the celebration i don't know what kind of wine you want to buy if it is 2000 wine 5000 wine 10000 wine 20000 wine 100000 wine as god lays in your heart and according to your capacity say i am sending this to that account as a token of closing my fast and partaking in the evening celebration maria nozentos kete drop when you transfer drop that detail of your transfer in the in a whatsapp line in my whatsapp line that you already know of that's what displayed on this video and say this is a seed for the anniversary i may not respond by 5 p.m today but between now and 5 p.m i will do a write-up to acknowledge your seed and to either send a prayer with a write-up or with a voice note to acknowledge your seed if i can't do it this evening because of the program those who i can't do all i will do it tomorrow to also close uh, bless you for receiving your seed it's gonna be just a short declaration to attest to you that we received your seed uh, as the church celebrates today you will celebrate i see testimonies coming already i see open doors coming already let me drop five prophecies before i leave five number one Nigeria is about to witness blossom. Number two, some stooge, some people are about to kick the bucket. There are people who have said, no, this nation will not move forward. But we don't know them. You don't know them. Nobody knows them. They are not even visible. Nobody knows them. It's only God that knows them. God says he's kicking them out of the way because he has heard the cry of the people. Somebody, I just heard you. He says, is it today we are, we are hearing this kind of prophecy? Nigeria, the more they prophesied, Nigeria is going backwards. God says, I should tell you, he is doing it. You may not know, but he's taking them out gradually and gradually. Fine, uh, thirdly, God says, I should tell you that you should live a life of praise this season because he's going to rain abundance on you. Finally, God says, I should tell you that you should also reach out to less privileged, reach out to those beggars on your street, reach out to people around you. Then when you give to them, connect that seed to heaven and say, God, as I give this token to this beggar, God use it to bless me. Finally, please be very careful when i say be very careful be very careful of crowded areas i repeat again especially when it has to do with pro political crowds be careful and sensitive i leave it there america god has remembered you god says i should tell you he has remembered you i repeat again america god has remembered you i see him smiling god has remembered you and i want to tell you again those in europe those in ghana those in south africa 
those from Abuja, please pray against air crash before you bought that cry. As long as you plead the blood of Jesus, as you enter the plane, plead the blood of Jesus, no evil will happen. This is Pastor Mark Miracle, Prestige Gospel Center, Port Harcourt, River State, Nigeria. And we are clocking four years, to, you've clocked four years today, 2nd October. We are celebrating by 5 p.m. this evening. God bless you, Ray God.